Did you enjoy Soup Fest? Oh, um, I haven't actually gone in yet. Okay. <laughs> Did you enjoy Soup Fest? Yes, I do. Oh, Cable 14, are you enjoying Soup Fest? Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Have you had any soup? Yeah. Yeah, what's your favorite so far? Oh my god, the sweet potato soup. Yeah, yeah. from where? I don't know from where. Okay. I'm so sorry. What are you filming today? The soup. <laughs> what kind of shot are you getting from this angle? From here now? Yes. Um, we have now an interview okay. with the organizer. Yeah. With Karen? No, I think Julian. It'll be Al. Al? Oh, yeah. okay. okay. Big Al. Okay, well... So it's uh, my first time here. It's oh, your first time. day, yeah. <laughs> first <laughs> day, first time on the soup festival because I'm from Germany. Oh yeah? Yeah. Nice. And are you enjoying yourself? I'm having a great time, yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite soup? Uh, there's a field mushroom soup. Nice. I thought that was Sanjay, but that wasn't Sanjay. Okay, I got so distracted. Anyways, have a good one. Shout out to Sanjay. Are you enjoying yourself? Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> What's your favorite soup? Um, the Asiago one. Are you enjoying your soup? Yes, delicious. So we are officially in uh, the soup fest. I think we need a menu though. We definitely have to get our hands on a menu. Is that Sanjay? Is that Sanjay right there? I think we just found Sanjay. There he is. Sanjay, how are you doing? This is an ambush, Evan. If I'd known you were gonna be here, I would have prepared something, but... Yeah, there you know. was uh, a guy come up the escalator that looked like you. Oh yeah, yeah. like a doppelganger? Yeah. I'm just doing my rounds getting soup, but I'm painting over there, actually. Oh yeah? I've already had four cups or so, and this is my fifth and sixth. Is it from the same place? Is it these no, guys? No, I'm trying every everything's new. This is the Rock okay. Garden at RBG. They've got a cafe there that's absolutely amazing. Soup Fest is, I don't know if you've been here before, but it's been happening for I think 13 years. Do you know how long Soup Fest has been happening? 17 years? 17! 17, I was way off! Rock Garden? Rock Garden. What's the soup today? Today we got zucchini dill topped with a crispy parsnip and paprika oil. And what inspired the soup? Mert inspired the soup. That's his specialty. He's our uh, line cook at the Greenhouse Cafe okay. at the RBG. So should I be asking Bert? You should definitely be asking Mert. Yeah. Is it Mert? Mert, like, like not Mert. Mert with a B. Okay. Uh, with an M, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mert. Yeah. Hi, Mert. Hey. Okay, so what inspired the soup flavor? Uh, it's like creamy and a lot of dill in it. It's very delicious. Did you say delicious? Yes, I did. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I like it. Uh, how do you like working with Mert? He's great. He's one of my favorite Mertz. <laughs> do you mind if we have a sip of it? I don't mind. Yeah, just Let's a sip see. of the dill? We got one ready. Oh, sick. I guess I'll just actually sip it. Yes, you can actually sip, sip. it. Sip. Uh, I'll sip, I'll okay, sip. sip yeah, I, I have to hold the microphone. Yeah, that's true. That is a beautiful blend of the zucchini and the dill. Here, Mike, try a sip. That is so good. That's really good. It's really good. I guess we'll just uh, clear this real quick. It's kind of hot. Okay, so yeah, we're holding some soup. Is that Nathan? Oh my gosh, the OG. Oh, I'll leave the camera. <laughs> Am I on your show right now? Yeah, you are. Oh, cool. What's up? Uh, guess what soup this is? Uh, artichoke? Close. Uh, I don't know, pineapple? I don't know. Even closer? <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, why don't you sip it and tell me what you think it is. Right. I have no idea. <laughs> it's, it's good though. It's zucchini it's really, dill. Zucchini, okay. It's zucchini dill. So that was close to pineapple? I guess so. So Nathan, his mom is the one that does Living Rock, yeah? Yeah, and I, I, I volunteer there as well. He's the guy to talk to if you're ever at Soup Fest. Nathan, so... Yo, the Nelk Boys are on your show too, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, show, show to the Nelk Boys. Full send at Soup Fest. Let's go get some soup. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to join us for yeah, a bit? Yeah, sure, I'll, I'll join Okay, yeah, take the lead, Nathan. You can hold the yeah, mic. Yeah, uh, okay. No, I, I feel weird holding the microphone up. This is like the first time I've done this. Yeah, you, you can say whatever you want. You can talk to whoever you want. Uh, let's go to the radio. Let's go to the radio booth. Well, why don't you give a quick little blurb about Soup Fest and like how it came to be, I guess. Uh, Soup Fest started 16, is it 16 years ago? 17. 17. And I've pretty much been to every single one. And uh, start, it's to raise money for Living Rock Ministries to support youth at risk. Man, this is crazy. I feel like I feel like I'm a news reporter. I like how you have like the Evan show. <laughs> yes. right, yo, take the mic. Okay. Did you want to talk to the radio people? Uh, well, they're like doing. They're uh, they're live right now. They're live right now. <laughs> Here, we'll just walk up. How are you doing? Hi. How do you like Soup Fest today? I love it. Yeah. Yeah. 
What were you just saying on the radio just now? I was saying that everyone should come eat soup at Soup Fest. Do you have a favorite soup today? Uh, the butternut squash soup over there is really good. That does sound very good. Can you guess what's in the cup? Uh, like what kind of soup? Yes. Mushroom. No. Leek. No, it's uh, it's a green, it's all green. It's all green? Like the color of the vegetable is green. Uh, zucchini? Yes. And, and there's more? And one more. Uh, like another green vegetable? Yeah, also green. Kale? No. A spinach? No, you're close. Green pepper? No. Uh, green onion? No, you look at the texture too. Um, parsley? Think of Lay's. Pickle? Dill. Dill was what we were looking for. How long have you been doing uh, Fresh 95.3? Forever, since we launched in 2013. What inspired you to be a radio host? I just like talking about stuff and listening to music. Would I be able to say something on the radio? What's up you guys, it's Evan from The Evan Show here. We're at Soup Fest 2019 and you're listening to 95.3 Fresh Radio. All right, that was, that was great. Nathan, we went on the radio. Yeah, that was pretty cool, eh? <laughs> Pursuing my dreams. I never thought I'd be on the radio before. Oh, oh Trish. What's your favorite soup? I don't know. First of all, I'm a vegetarian, so I have oh. only had a limited number of soups, but the one that I had first from State and Maine, their sweet potato one, oh. was really good. State and Maine has got it going on with sweet potato. I know. Are you painting anything today? <laughs> no. <laughs> I helped mix paint, though. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, step one, mix the paint. Yes. <laughs> Step two. Secure the bag. Oh, there's Sanjay's look like. He was on the escalator. Oh, and freaky. I thought that that was Sanjay first. Does that look like Sanjay? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. From like a glimpse, like from like the one angle, like right there. Yeah. Can we get a glimpse of this guy? Do you get Sanjay him? Sanjay Doppelganger? Yeah, Have you ever seen the movie Kumare no. on Netflix? Okay, this guy is Sanjay's doppelganger also. And one of our friends like called us and was like, did you guys make this movie? And are you starring in this documentary on Netflix? We were like, no, that isn't Sanjay. He's walking right over here. That's the guy that looks like you from a distance. That, that was the doppelganger from a distance, Sanjay. This is nacho soup, it's really good. Oh, I is missed it? that nacho. one. Yeah. Like, how good? It's like, you know, nacho. It's the first one I had, so I have nothing compared to, but like, it was, it's good. Can I sip it? Yeah, sure. Okay, I'll take a little sip. You totally sip. It's nacho soup. Oh my god. Somebody's already told me that joke today. Oh. Oh, Man, that's really good. Does it taste like nachos? It's like blended nachos with some chips in there that act like crackers. Are you guys doing soup and soda? No, just soup today. Okay, but you guys do make sodas. Yeah. I think I've been to the Fizz before. Yeah? I had a Concord Fizz. And I realized I didn't like Concords, but it was still a good soda. Okay. What's the soup today? It's a beef barley. Okay, do you like it? Yeah, I do. It's very, very good. Do you mind if I sample like a small bit? Yeah, no problem. Is that the barley right there? Yes. Okay, sick. Well, that smells like, uh, that smells really good. That's more than enough. Thank you so much. Yeah, it smells like uh, if you're about to have a campfire and you also just finished tapping trees from syrup all day. It, it smells pretty great. But it's hot. It tastes like a little bit of rib fest. Mike, it's really hot. Do you want to try some? No, you're not even drinking the soup. I'm preparing my palate. Okay. Does it not taste like ribs? Oh, that's delicious. Yeah, it's really good. I love all the soups. Okay, this is this is too hot. I can't talk to people with hot soup in my hand and try out different soups. I should have thought about that. Well, we're just gonna wait till this cools down. Oh, jeez, I almost spilled that. Oh, state and Maine butternut squash. Is there sweet potato in there too? There's no sweet potato in the soup, sir. Oh, okay, I, I miss. I was misinformed. Do you mind if we try some? Absolutely. Like a small sampler. Let's give her a go. Yeah. Okay, sweet. Do you mind if I put the other soup down on this table? Please. You Is that what bad? You gotta, no, you can do what you gotta do. We got a bit of a uh, light whipped cream and rosemary oil garnish with a little bit of parsley and fresh black pepper on top. Oh, from the fresh black yeah, yeah, pepper you thing. See this right here. This is, this is what makes it right here. <laughs> All right, there you go, brother. Here's a... Sweet. Come get you a little oh, spoon I've been there. sipping. I've been sipping. Oh, okay, I have okay. limited hands. Let me give you a little mix then. Yeah, mix it in, please. There you go. All right. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. What's your name? Rob, man. Rob? Yep. Nice. I worked with the Rob. Okay. Well... Wow. The oil really does something. Yeah, it's, a, it, it, it's on my lips. <laughs> you got moisturized lips for the rest of the day. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. Do we have like a mini tray to yeah, carry all these yeah. soups? Yeah, okay, yeah, because I'm accumulating. Yeah, you just, it's like a lazy Susie, and you can just <laughs> turn it around, <laughs> sip on the next one, right? Oh, Mike, do you want to try some soup real quick? Sure. You got to try the soup too. That's this one? Yeah, that's my favorite so far. Oh, hey, that's thank really you very good. much, man. I yeah. appreciate it. This is really good. So here we are at. Uh, what? The West Plains Bistro. Now, you guys already from the jump are serving bread with your soup. What inspired this bread with this soup? Well, you can't have soup without bread. Soup denotes bread, so 
you just need a Cristini, so something a little to thicken it up, you know, give it a little body. Okay. Absolutely. Okay, and what kind of soup do we have going on today? Uh, I have a, a field mushroom soup right now. Okay. Uh, it's just going with uh, uh, herb goat cheese crostini, a little bit of truffle oil, and chai. Okay. Yes. And what inspired the recipe? What inspired the recipe? A love of mushrooms. Come on. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Now, you said field mushroom specifically. Yes. Is there a difference, like, as opposed to what other type of mushrooms? Uh, it's just a variety of mushrooms. Well, there, there are forest mushrooms, mushrooms grown in a big silo. I don't know, there's a lot of different kinds of mushrooms, right? Okay. Yeah. So wh why did you choose the field one over the forest one? Um, I, I just enjoy them. I, I just think they're great. I'll okay. try out some different please, mushrooms. Please do. Please. Okay. <laughs> but not those kind of mushrooms. <laughs> oh, wow, with the bread on top. Yeah, Look at the same, thing. Soup okay, so how do you tackle this then? Because I usually sip, so how am I going to get to... Typically with a spoon. Okay. Yeah. So just the whole thing in my mouth at once, you um, think? <laughs> get it. <laughs> now, the soup was really hot, but that stuff on top was cold. So yeah. it balanced out. Absolutely. I almost burnt my mouth, but it saved me there. Wow, that's really good. Thank you very that's much. a good flavor. And do you like uh, the soup? I love the soup. Yeah. Very good. So here we are at Spring Sushi. Hi there. Uh, what kind of soup is this? This is a miso soup. Oh, nice. Yeah, so very traditional Japanese appetizer. Would we be able to try a little bit? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Is uh, miso your preferred soup? Like your favorite? Uh, yeah, yeah. Miso is very soothing. You can do it when you know on a hot day, on a cold day, when you're sick, when you're not sick. It's just a very soothing overall. Pretty easy to uh to to drink soup. Want me to hold this for you so oh, you can sure, have a try? Sure. Definitely, yeah. You, you you tell me how it is. I, I will. I will. <laughs> I just want to burn my mouth. There's so many opportunities <laughs> to burn the mouth. This is really good. Thank you. Thank you. Do you like miso, Mike? You love miso soup. Okay. Open up, Mike. Ah. Uh. That's really good. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. That's a quality miso. We have filled up our tray officially. We might have to crush some soup. Yeah, let's get some bread. You need some bread to go with that soup, don't you? Yes, definitely. You sure do. Oh, this feels like really fresh bread. Oh, it is. I keep it covered for you. See how soft this is? This is super soft. <laughs> What's your favorite piece? Is it this piece? Or do you like the end piece I like better? I the end. Yeah? And I've only had one person all day say, can I have some end pieces? So we got the bread. We're probably going to take a quick break. Oh, thank you. Are we hot tamale, Mike? All right, so we're at the Black Forest Inn restaurant right now, and they have some soup here. Uh, we're going to try out some of their soup. Uh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> thank you so much. How are you liking the soup today? The soup is awesome. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What's this soup? Potato leek, a little bit of onion there. It's just nice. fantastic. Do you like crackers in your soup? Crackers, I like them broken. Yep. Yeah. Do Usually, people have them whole? Um, whole doesn't make sense unless you put maybe bacon and cheese on top of the whole ones because then you can put more that on. Makes sense. That yeah, makes but sense. broken. Premium plus. Yep. No name is even better, but the same soda cracker. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a meatball soup here. So, where did you guys get these uh, outfits? Um. We Austria? usually purchase them from Austria. Really, eh? Yes. Because I don't see them often around here. No, they're from Germany. Okay. Are you also German? I am not. Okay. <laughs> Do you wish you were? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes. What inspired this specific uh, recipe? It's a tradition in our Black Forest Inn restaurant. It's over 50 years and we're every still Sunday. doing it every Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, this is a Sunday soup. Here. Yes, yeah. Well, I'll definitely try it out. It's really hot right now. Yes, it is. It's very hot. All right, we should have got the tray. This is a really hot soup. Insanely hot. How are you liking Soup Fest today? Fantastic. Did we also meet in the elevator at Levity? We sure as hell did. Oh my gosh. Did I make that video? Was I in it? You were in it. Ah, yeah, check it out. Hello again. <laughs> what soup is this? This is the carbonara one from ba Baki? Bachi? Bachi. 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 Are you uh, satisfied with the bread selection today? I am. The knives are breaking, but the butter's too hard. Oh, really? Eh? Yeah. See, I, I ate it without the butter, so I didn't get to see the that Ooh. part. I just dipped it right there. Is that a butter guy? No, I am a butter guy. I just didn't even think about it, to be honest. Fair, fair, fair. So, anyway, are you excited to be here? Very much so. Every year. Every year. That can go right in the garbage. We're going to be eating a lot of soups. I didn't eat breakfast today or lunch, and uh, all the soup is hitting me nicely. Anyways, let's go try some more soup. The sweet potato Asiago and carrot. Asiago is one of my favorite cheeses, to be honest. I really like Asiago cheese. Mike, what do you feel about the Asiago cheese? I love every cheese. You like every cheese. I, I really like Asiago. What's my favorite cheese? Yeah. Well, of course, it's Asiago. That's okay, what we're that's supporting what today. About. That's the best one. And Goss and Gris artisan goat cheese made right here in Hamilton. Wow. Like the so the goats are in Hamilton? The goat is right here. Greatest of all time. <laughs> Greatest of all time. Yeah, you go. Go. Yeah, try that goat cheese. You'll, you'll be a believer. Come cheese. on in and try the goat cheese. Yeah, try the goat cheese. You'll be a believer. <laughs> oh. There you go, Thank young you. man. Always a pleasure. That is, how do you feel, man? It is really good goat cheese. 
I've never had goat cheese before. Nathan, I found your mom. Found your mom over here, Nathan. Nathan's mom is right over here. Hello, Karen. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. I have a bunch of goat cheese in my mouth. Oh, do you? Mm-hmm. They have Delicious. goat cheese over there if you like goat cheese. You on the air right now? Uh-huh. You want me to talk? Oh, please, yeah. Take the microphone. <laughs> Say anything you want. Well, we're really excited to be at Soup Fest. We're having a super time at Soup Fest. It's amazing. Great entertainment lineup. The diversity of the soup is incredible this year. Like, lots of variety. So it's really good. People are really enjoying it. Did you start the Soup Fest? Yep, 17 years ago, yeah. Wow. We, uh, a guy, Gary Christensen, came to me. He was a poet in Hamilton. And he had gone through a lot of trauma in his life. And he said, you know what? I would, uh, I have this idea of Soup Fest. And I love soup, so I was like all over this idea. And he pitched it to another group, but it was 9-11 and they just, they, we didn't even know if the world was gonna end. Like, but when they pitched it to me, I thought, you know what? Like we can do this and it's been fabulous for Living Rock. And it's really highlighted the hospitality industry. I mean, yeah. some of these restaurants, like Baki Restaurante just opened when they won Most Creative Soup. And they were packed like after that. So it really does impact the restaurants as well. Is this the seafood soup? Uh, uh, they, uh, they put pearls in it. They put pearls. Ranch chive fried chicken and Tabasco yeah, caviar. Oh, the, caviar. Yeah, they put, yeah the caviar. Yeah. Oh, geez. Are you brave enough to try a sip? <laughs> yeah, if you get it. I'll get it. I'll, I'll try. Sip. I'll sip it. I'm not the fondest of seafood like them, but I mean, we got to try it because we're at Soup Fest. So what inspired the caviar? Well, a little bit of molecular gastronomy, so we decided we were going to put a little nice garnish touch on there. To put it in easy terms, we wanted a gimmicky garnish. A nice hearty chicken broth with a little bit of uh, franks, a little bit of Tabasco, some cream, a little bit of ranch, a touch of chives. And then you have your choice because we're pairing with Tabasco and so you can decide if you like buffalo, if you like chipotle or if you like spicy sweet. So what do you want to do? Go big or go home? I was going to go the buffalo because right. it's uh, the buffalo Good chicken. Good you're just keeping it on a straight sweet line, eh? Yeah. If you go, you go too hot and you're going to ruin your taste buds to try anything else. You're not going to be a baby and wimp out on the, uh, the gimmicky garnish, the Tabasco caviar. <laughs> no, we got to try it. Okay. That's over here, yeah. Put your seatbelt on. Go for it. We're having it with the caviar, Nathan. No wimping out on this one. Oh, I smell that. Oh, let's get, get out of the line. Oh, let's get out of the line. All right, let's, let's, oh, there's Ben. Hey, Ben. Oh, there's caviar. Right yeah, now. it's a gimmicky garnish. Oh. So, like, what are your thoughts on caviar, Ben? Uh, I don't know. I like it in sushi. I don't know if I've ever had it in soup, though. Well, this yeah. is the time to try it. But okay, how we'll do we? We'll just, okay. I'll try it. That's not bad. Well, <laughs> there it is. There I it haven't is. really tried the caviar yet. So. No, like no. <laughs> Let's do that again. Do it again. Oh, that's hot caviar. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm done with the soup now. <laughs> okay. Oh, Mike needs to try the soup. Mike, who likes the caviar? Don't spill, Mike. All right. This is good. The uh, Evan Show, wow. That is it, yes. My friend named Evan too. Oh yeah? <laughs> nice. Yes. Is he here today? Yes, he is. Okay, we might have to talk to him. How's yeah, it going? Leave. Not too bad. Yeah, good, good, good. Is your name Evan too? Uh, yeah, Evans. Very much. Oh, Evans. Yours is Evan? Just Evan. Oh, uh, okay, you're missing the S. Yeah, missing the S. The S could be for soup today. <laughs> yes, yes, we'll, we'll keep that for the soup. <laughs> keep that yeah. for the soup. Yeah. Anyways, uh, how are you feeling? Good, yeah. good. It's been a great year. It's yeah. been a great year this year. Yeah, it's yeah. been one month so far. Yeah, yeah. It's, well, I mean, this turnout this year for this has been remarkable, and Living Rock has done a lot. Yeah. yeah. And I made the challenge. I've been challenging the community for a lot of years, um, and I put up money to, to challenge the community, and this year we, we've gone past our goal. I was a youth here 10 years ago, and then I came back, and I did some volunteer work, and I realized that Living Rock's funding had gone down, and they needed some help, and so I stepped up, and tried to raise some money. I drove a hoverboard from here to Niagara. Did you have to like charge the hoverboard? Did so you what extra? we did is we took a van and we shoved all the hoverboards in a van and then as they were dying it was, oh I need charge a new it. one, charge give me a new one and Go. plug that one in and keep going. Wow. Nine Mike's hours. Switch. Nine switch. hours. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, he was my. Yeah, I was like, Mike, get me another one. This one's dead. Here you go. go. Yeah. Here you go. Here's go. Excellent. Jeez. Yeah. yeah. That's fun. It was all fun. What inspired fun. that? I hate walking. I was thinking of the Terry Fox run kind of idea, and I'm like, you know, let's do that electric powered. Let's You're see if we can do it electric powered. <laughs> one of the other parts of that too was I wanted to show to the youth that if you put your mind to something, don't let people tell you no. Don't tell me it can't be done. Don't tell me no. 
Just tell me where I go. Pursuing Always. what you love. Yeah, yeah. Don't I don't take no. I don't take no for an answer, and I and I will continue to pursue as far as I can to, to help the Living Rock in any way I can. Teamwork. Pursue what you love. Pursue what you love and stay minty. <laughs> The time right now is uh, 4.23 and parking expired for me at 4 o'clock. So we got to make sure that uh, we don't have any parking tickets. The expiry limit that I've been over is not even like showing up on the meter. So I guess it's been that long. I guess if you're over half an hour. We're over half an hour right now, but no tickets. Successful 2019 this year. Last year, I think I racked up about like 9 or 11 tickets from events where I went over the meter. Um, anyways. We're not going back into Soup Fest because Camera Guy Mike has a photo shoot to go do, so shout out Camera Guy Mike, how are you feeling about that? My back kills. I fell down the stairs at work, it hurt. Well, let's, let's film Mike for a second. Pursue you love, stay minty, 